So previously in the last two months, for some reason, a video of mine got taken down, and I don't know why, and I am not getting a response out of YouTube. I asked them, why did my video get taken down? Because it was the video that everybody is apparently asking me about. Hey, they're saying, uh, this video says it, you know, it's been taken down YouTube. And I'm like, crap. So, I don't know what terms of service I broke, because it's not telling me. But to state, for starters, uh, first couple things, one, just because education purposes only, two, don't hire it, three, abandon where I would say it's like an even gray area, don't worry about it, nobody's going to sue you over a game that they're not even doing anything with, and as long as you don't resell anything, you're perfectly fine. Uh, pretty much, that's all I can think of, so I'm going to show you... Uh, a couple tricks that should be able to fix the game. If you've been a long time uh, subscriber to my channel, then you already know that I'm very big on the Sims and I try to fix the Sims as much as I can. And I'm going to do a video on Semitone because I did get, you know, some questions on how to fix Semitone, how to get the 3D version up and running. I've tried to do it before and I could never figure out why I can't get the game to run properly. But I will try, I'll show you what to do with The Sims 1 and how to fix the infinite load loop and uh, some other small tricks. So the first thing you can try is um, right-clicking The Sims, wherever your game is. You sh I figured you probably have it on your desktop. Right-click it, go to Properties, go to Capability Mode, hit, uh, hit this button right here, Run as Windows XP, and then you're going to go down here where you see Run this program as Administrator Mode, you're done. Now, the other thing you can do is in the shortcut setting right here, if you want it really, really tiny, more power to you, don't strain your eyes. Please don't strain your eyes. What I would suggest is hitting that, that, and then it'll do window mode, and all that's going to do is it's just going to put it 800 by 600 right in the middle of your monitor. Let's face it, and right now, everybody that has a computer has a 1080p monitor. That thing's going to get stretched out. No, well, actually, reverse. It's going to get really tiny, and you're going to look at that thing going, why am I looking at this thing? It's so tiny. So don't do that. Now, one question that a lot of people get, and I'll prove it right now. Jump cut. You're, let's say you're playing The Sims, and all of a sudden you're like, I need to minimize. You minimize it, but then you reopen it, and now you get this effect. I'm sorry to say, but there is no real fix to this. I haven't found one yet, but when I do, I will let everybody know. So if you want to subscribe to my channel and keep an eye on that for any time I give updates about The Sims, if I find something new, I will immediately let you know. So the only real way to fix this is to quit the game, and I know you have to like do that and be like, okay, the button's right there. The only other way to really do that if you can't click on anything is just minimize it, go here, go to Task Manager, and look for wherever The Sims is. That's realistically the only thing you can do. I'm sorry to say. I know that's really stupid, but sorry. The other thing that people have asked me about is the widescreen patch, and that's not a bad idea. And realistically, you can use the widescreen patch to fix a couple bugs that will, that is probably why my game doesn't do the load loop. So the only thing you really do is just go get it by Faith Bean. He's going to tell you to go to this. I say, uh, just open this up right here. Just open that up. And it should tell you exactly where to go. Actually, this is, I think, the same one. Let me double check. This is going to download, and then you, you know, when you open it, go to Show in Folder. If you get this one first, and like, oh, well, no, my bad. If you get, did I delete it? So just go ahead and open this right here, and it's going to pull up. What I would say, you don't really need anything. Just read this, because I will post this down below the link, so you don't have to go download this for yourself get this get you're gonna go to this github link right here because this is actually what you need uh he basically explains go get the newest version which is gonna be this then you're gonna go here go there and that's really all you're gonna need just go get the latest one for windows uh, 64 source code source code if you want to get them either enjoy and then once you have it like that you're gonna go get you're gonna grab this guy and then you can just go ahead and run it directly from it. It's just a simple little program. I would say extract it and put this thing somewhere where you're gonna remember. And this is how you can actually fix the game in some aspect. Just do this. All you need to do, right click your program, go to properties. Actually, you don't even need to do that. Why'd I do that? You're gonna go to file location, my bad. You're gonna pull that up. You're gonna copy this. You're gonna go right here, browse. 
pop that in. It's already there, so we don't have to worry about it. It's gonna pull up this folder, then you're gonna go all the way down to this. Once you do, you're going to go ahead. I'm gonna uninstall and reinstall it to show you how to do it. What you're gonna do is do a simple little task. It's not complicated. All you're gonna do is say patch. It's gonna give you some new files. You don't really have to worry about it. I believe the Sims backup is the file you get, like another one and it should fix it essentially and that might fix a couple other issues now if you're still having any other issues uh some files extracted since one widescreen were modified or new files were created do you want to put them in the archive yes now once again this is one of those situations in which um if you're still having issues i'm sorry i don't really know what to tell you but there is one other thing that I can do and I'm gonna do that in another video because I know the attention span of most of you people watching this is about max 10 minutes and the semitone video will take me at least over 30 40 minutes to figure out so I don't know if any of this is gonna help but this is all I can relatively help you out so if this was helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below. And I really hope that this did fix some of the issues you were having. And I will say one more time, if you didn't watch my other video where I gave 12 PC tips, uh, I do agree with some ordinary gamer, aka Mudahar, where he explained uh, programs don't need to be put in administration mode, uh, any type of admin mode at all. But in some cases, like older games, is not a bad idea because its whole purpose is just to run in sandbox mode. And nine times out of ten, nothing's gonna happen. It's like that whole nine out of ten doctors agree that Colgate is good for your teeth situation. Whatever. You get the point. I hope I was helpful. So again, if this was useful, you know what to do.